Welcome to Depression Talks, the manual. And in this community, we openly talk about depression, anxiety, and low self-esteem. So hit that subscribe button because I promise you, you are not alone. Now, I'm hype right now, man. <laughs> we just crossed day 10. Day 10 of the no, wait, I can't even talk right now. No alcohol challenge, no alcohol for 30 days. I am a recovering alcoholic. And this is double digits? Double digits? Ah, we had double digits. We are double digits. We are at double. Oh snap! We are double digits, and the reason why I'm hype right now is because not only is this the longest I've been without alcohol, but ten days with no alcohol, going through the weekends, going through, the, going through the withdrawals and the headaches and the fatigue, my anxiety increasing, going through all these withdrawals and symptoms. It was just rough, and I'm not saying that my temptation is gone because it is not gone. It's not gone. Okay, it's not. Um. You know, I, I think it's getting maybe easier and I understand and recognize triggers that may happen, but my temptation to drink is still there. I miss drinking. I think about drinking a lot. I miss the taste. I, I often ask myself all the time, like, am I going to drink again? Am I going to drink again? And it's, it's just interesting how my body is still craving it after 10 days and maybe it's going to still crave after 20 and 30. Maybe it's always going to be a craving I have. These are all thoughts that go through my mind. Um, and what about you? Do you still crave your negative your negative addiction? Or do you still lack the motivation to start your positive addiction? Comment down below. How do you feel about your addiction? But I'm ecstatic right now. I'm so happy. 10 days without alcohol. And I wanted to, this is the thing right here. I'm going to link up to the video now where I poured the rest of this alcohol out. And this is my constant reminder. I look at this and I still have this. This is the, this is the alcohol that I poured out in that video from that live stream. I look at this and I think to myself, like, do I really want to go back to this? Do I really want to go back to drinking alcohol by myself, alone in my room, uh, every day, hurting my liver, hurt, hurting my uh, my stomach lining and possibly, you know, getting ulcers and internal bleeding and going to the hospital and killing myself. I think about that. I think about if I go back, is it really worth it? Or are my symptoms, would I, like, would I rather deal with the symptoms, the withdrawals, the depression maybe of not drinking, the anxiety increase, and then those symptoms go away over time? I don't want to go back to this. And if you're in a state right now where you feel like you're not Maybe you, maybe you, you know, you didn't quite make it to 10 days or you feel like you're about to start over or you're thinking about even giving up or giving in. Don't, man. Don't. Like, don't. Because you already know what it's like to go back to that addiction. And you already know what it's like to feel trapped or like a chain that's on you and you can't take it off. And every single day, it's like, nope, you can try your best, but I'm going to pull you right back. We know what that feels like. So I don't want to go back to that. I don't, this thing right here, I don't want to go back to that. In 30 days, on the 30 day mark, I'm thinking that I want to like throw this in the dumpster in the live stream and just say good riddance to it. But, ah, man, 10 days, 10 days, 10 days. Wow. If you feel like you just messed up and you, and you maybe didn't make the 10 days, don't beat yourself up for it, bro. Ma'am, lady, miss, everyone. Don't beat yourself up for it, okay? If anything, get right back on your feet and get started again and fight it again and fight it and fight it and fight it and fight it. And even though you may feel like, you, even, oh, I'm telling you, even though you may feel like this is impossible, it's impossible to win this thing, I'm telling you, dude, oh my gosh, bro. Like, you get to look at what it looks like in the light at the end of the tunnel. Visualize yourself beating that addiction. Visualize yourself starting that positive habit that you've been putting off, like going to the gym, trying to work towards your business, trying to do that, trying to do this. Just imagine, man, what it'd be like after 30 days, after six months, three months of you doing what you want to do and you know you should do. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful. I'm not at 30 days yet. I'm not perfect. I have my daily struggles. I still crave it, like I said. The weekends are still hard for me. I want alcohol right now. Are you kidding me? I would love to have a drink right now. Man. But I just, I'm too scared to go back. I'm too scared to go back to the way that things are. So continue to do this journey with me. Get back on your feet. Keep on fighting. I'm fighting with you. We are in this together. We are literally fighting every single day. 
together. Don't forget that. 10 days crushed it. 20 more to go. One third of the way there. All right. Hit that subscribe button, of course, to join this awesome community that openly talks about depression, anxiety, and low self-esteem and truly loves one another. All right. As I always say, we have 10 days. Do you <laughs> stay slightly delicious and keep smiling. <laughs> Too hype. Peace.